City of Stevens Point Board of Public Works Special Meeting, recorded Tuesday, May 5, 2020. I think we're all connected. It's 4 30. I'll call the special Board of Public Works meeting in order. Uh, the first order of business is the election of chairperson. So I call for nominations for chairperson. First, I, I have a comment and then I do have a nomination. Yes, Alder Jennings. Uh, so my comment in 2017. I introduced an ordinance revision to the municipal code, which now states that the chairs and vice chairs of the standing committees shall be elected by members of the respective committees. The purpose of this revision was to take a step towards balancing power between the executive and legislative branches, which had a long history of being highly centralized and dominated by, by mayors in our city. Although this ordinance change was adopted by Common Council, our mayor, Mayor Wiesa, has uh, generally disregarded the ordinance by listing not only who should be chair, but listing himself <clears throat> as chair of public works. The mayor, uh, by statute, is chair of Common Council. However, Mayor Wiesa appoints himself as chair of Plan Commission, and by recommending himself as chair of public works, he's essentially doing the same thing. Such centralized, such a centralization of power is uh, rarely seen in other municipalities, and it should be unacceptable to Stevens Point government if we care about legislative balance of power. Simply put, mayors should not be chairs of multiple committees, and our municipal code does not say he or she should be. Uh, this is not about individuals, this is about legislation. I would like to nominate Jeremy Slowinski as chair of public works because he has the experience and I trust that he will simply chair the meeting. Okay, thank you. We have a nomination for Alder Slowinski. Uh, are there any other nominees? Are there any other nominees? I would, I would still nominate Wiza because I know that, I mean, I, understand what Tori is saying, but again, we need someone, I think Jeremy would be good. I think Mayor Weezy has a lot of, has a lot of experience because um, we're basically part-time alders. I believe Jeremy is here, is he? Jeremy is unmuted as well. What? Jeremy is unmuted as well. He joins us by phone. Okay. Yes, I am he? here. Okay. All right, so I would nominate Mayor Wiesa. All right, we have nominations for Alder Slowinski and for Mayor Wiesa. Are there any other nominees? Are there any other nominees? Are there any other nominees? All right, with that. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a comment if I may. Yes, please do. So when we have our committees, um, regardless of what happened in, in previous administrations, I don't get to say what happened there. When we have committees, since I have been in this position, it has been my intent to put the most interested, the best qualified, and the most able people in those committees and in the leadership roles of those committees. Public Works is arguably one of the most hands-on committees that the city has as far as standing committees. All of you know that I talk to all of the alders, I talk to the citizens when they want their appointments. Uh, I want to find things that suit your needs. I don't understand why Alder Jennings thinks it's a constant conspiracy in regards to anything involving city administration. There's not. I think we've overwhelmingly told people and showed people through our actions that we want to do this as a team. We are a team. And that is the way my administration has been run. When I offer the recommendations, I do that based on input from our city staff, the department heads, we talk to them to make sure that they have their input in. It's not an arbitrary decision on my part, ever. 
Um, and I put posi- I recommend people for those positions based on their experience and their ability to, to commit the time necessary to do the job well. That's the only motive that I have. To say that it's anything else is fantasy. So I thank you again for considering me and we'll see how this plays out. All right, thank you. Uh, as there are multiple nominees, we'll have to cast votes. Yep, I'm um, working on it. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, as I say, as the host here, you have the, the powers to create the poll, the anonymous poll, so we'll use that with the Zoom meeting. So as soon as the... Uh, so, as the poll, being that I'm not in, an, I'm not on the Zoom meeting. I'm just doing calling. How do I vote? That's we're going to have to vote audibly, I guess, all the yeah, person. We'll have to do that. All right. Apologize for any typos that there might be. I'm doing my best. Okay, and can can I can I ask a question while you're doing that? Absolutely. Yes. And I've never, I've only chaired finance personnel and public protection. I've never been involved with public works as far as, um, you know, discussing with Scott uh, the agendas and such. I guess this is a question for Scott as far as commitment, time, meeting with you, um, because I work out of town. So I am not in town at all during the day. So I just want to make that clear that if you know, as as the chair, you know, what is my commitment to meeting with you, Scott, meeting with, you know, discussing items? Because I, I, I just want to make that clear that as far as being available, I am not around during the day. Sure. Yeah. And I have to admit, that's a little bit difficult for me to gauge just because the mayor is available and we talk off and on whether it's directly public works or other things. So I, I probably don't even have a very good idea of how much time is truly committed to that, but um, I would think we would need to get together probably, you know, or at least talk conference call, you know, probably several times throughout the month um, and probably even occasionally some other phone calls and email exchanges just to make sure we're, we're together. Sometimes things move, move fast. And in other words, you know, just to make sure one is ready for the the meetings for the things that will be brought forward, um, just want to make sure you'd be up to speed. So um, I would tend to think it's going to be at least two times that we should get together between meetings to hash things through um, with that, which, you know, I can even do, you know, after hours. That's that's not a problem. We can set up some time to to do that if needed. I I would expect there will be some time, definitely. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't know if it's in order, but I, I, I just I don't want to burden the board, you know, with me not being available and being able to just discuss things. So I don't know if it'd be appropriate for me to decline that that nomination. I don't know if that's appropriate or not, but I just again I don't want to burden. I don't want to be a burden on the, on the board, you know, with the inability of not being able to be around to meet and discuss things, you know, on a short notice. Again, I am, I'm out of town every day. I, I am not in town during the day at all. And sometimes it's even difficult to, you know, be able to have any kind of discussions throughout the day due to my work schedule. I'm, I'm going all the time. And so I, I again, I, I don't want to be a burden and uh, I'm just concerned. So I don't know if that's appropriate. I don't know if the city attorney's on or not. Alder person, the city attorney is not on, uh, but I can tell you it is certainly within your purview to um, turn down the nomination. I would say though that a chairperson has the ability, just like an alder person, to commit as much time or as little time as they feel appropriate. Um, you've been on since 2005, uh, so you know the level of commitment that's required to do a good job. Um, 
that being said, there is likely the possibility that you and Scott could get together um, to make this work. Um, I would certainly be a resource, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to give the impression that I'm trying to influence a decision because we know how those conspiracy theories go. Um, so I would, I would say do what you feel and it's, it's certainly within your purview to stay on or turn down the nomination. Well, and again, I, you know, again, I've been on this council and who chairs what committee, I don't know. I mean, ultimately the common council makes final decisions on everything. Um, you know, so I don't know how there could be any kind of, you know, some sort of uh, advantage by one person over another being the chair. So I, I guess I will respectfully decline the nomination uh, for the chair of the public works board of public works. Okay. I have a comment. Yes. Alder Jennings. Um, I said nothing about conspiracy theories or said anything that should even remotely lead to that. I'm talking about um, how democracy works in cities <laughs> and how our ordinance is set up, which is legislative policy. And we're basically not doing that. The role of chair is to chair the meeting, not influence how policy or the conversation should be run. So basically this conversation sort of uh, supports my concerns because uh, Alder Slowinski is saying that, or asking questions, he's not stating, uh, you know, how much time does he need to commit to this and uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yet we know that he has plenty of experience chairing committees. This is no difference. It's doing the job of chair. It's not doing the job of politicking. Um, and basically that's my concern. So thank you for letting me comment. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, from my perspective, I think, you know, with Alder Slinsky, we could definitely handle, you know, things. We would just have to shift some stuff. I could definitely feed him information throughout the day to look at, we could talk about it at night. So I will respect whatever his decision is, which he seems to have made less he wishes to change his mind. But I'm, I'm sure we can make it work. Well, and again, you know, my my concern, I mean, when I've been, when I've chaired finance, when I've chaired personnel, especially, you know, I physically at that time, I had to meet with, you know, I met with Lisa, I met with Corey, and, you know, I was available during the day, and I'm, I'm, I am really concerned that I'm out of town every day. I'm not in town at all, you know, and that that's where my concerns come, you know. I mean, this new job that I have, I've had it for nearly two years now you know, where it's taken me away from the city of Stevens Point throughout the day. So I guess that's my reasoning. And, and again, yes, I have, I, I've been chair of other committees and I, I do see the commitment that is required sometimes, you know, where I have to, you have to physically meet and I'm just concerned and I don't want to be that, I don't want to burden the, the, the board because of that. And that's my reasoning why I decline the nomination. Okay, thank you. So after Alder Smithy's declination of the denomination, we have about one nominee. So with that, um, as there are no other nominations, uh, I declare the nominations closed. And as there is just the one nomination, I accept the motion to cast unanimous ballot for Mayor Wiesa for chairperson. Director Badoon, I'll, I'll make that motion. Okay, motion from Alder Nebone. I'll so second. I have a second. Second from Alder Morrow. So all in favor of Mayor Wiesa as chairperson, please say aye or how, is that the proper aye. way to indicate on a Zoom meeting? Okay, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. Nay. And it appears we have, how many are there on this? I gotta even count the numbers. There are six to one. <clears throat> thank you. Um, and, and thank you again for uh, electing chair. Uh, just another comment before we call for nominations for the vice chair. I don't see this as circumventing uh, or getting around the ordinance. They are very clearly stating recommended chairs. It is 100% up to the committee and that body to choose their own representation. I hope that they would take that consideration into account 
um, as a recommendation, only because, again, all of those recommendations are vetted through uh, the staff and we discuss it internally. Those decisions are not made by one person. Uh, we try and put the best people in the positions that we can and a recommendation does not require you to continue to take that recommendation. The committee still has complete autonomy to choose their own leadership. With that, I'm going to open nominations for vice chair of public protection. Nominations are now open and we're willing to accept their look at nominations. Alder Nebone. Mayor, I, I would like to nominate Alder Jennings for vice chair. Okay. In the spirit of Lincoln and his cabinet of rivals. <laughs> Nobody said anything about rivals either. We disagree on some things. <laughs> are there any other are, are there any other nominations? Go are with Jeremy if he if he would be willing to do it. Okay. Or 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 he has enough time. Because I know uh, Jeremy does have a lot of experience um, with express with his job that he has now um, and his years on city council. Uh, I mean, and I guess I don't want to sound like I don't want to do the position. I mean, I would be more than happy to serve as vice chair. Um, but again, I just want to make it clear to everyone my limitations. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? And for the third time, are there any other nominations? Seeing none, I will close the nominations. And uh, before we go further, uh, Alder Jennings, I didn't ask, are you willing to accept the nomination? Yes. Okay, so we have Alder Slowinski and Alder Jennings. Let's, oops, that. Let me get the poll created. Stand by, please. I think I have it. Uh, let me just double read it again here. Vice chair for some public works, you can always vice chair of public works. Choice of All right, and the poll is being launched. Only the active members of the public works committee are able to. I just realized something. I am not able to vote on this. I will have to um, I will have to vote audibly, I guess, along with Alder Slowinski. I've got five votes, uh, and Alder Slowinski and myself are going to vote audibly. I will end the polling and share the results and cast my vote for Alder Slowinski. Alder Slowinski. For, I'll vote for myself. Okay, so in sharing the results, I have three votes for Alder Jennings, and I have four votes for Alder Slowinski. Two on the poll and two verbal. Alder Slowinski is therefore elected vice chair of the Public Works Committee. Uh, stop sharing. And we are okay. And with that, our agenda is exhausted. I thank you all for taking the time on this special meeting, which of course we had to do statutorily. Um, we realized that we had been doing it wrong for a lot of years and, uh, and we finally got that corrected. So thank you all very much and have a great evening. A video of this meeting is available for viewing on the city's website stevenspoint.com slash videos.